Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and in case you're wondering why I am wearing a Fender hoodie and in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a Fender t-shirt the answer is because I am finally getting I am finishing up my three string project cigar box guitar that I started a couple of years back. I did get this awesome decal that actually matches the headstock. But look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Yes, sir. Yep, so this project was started and then it stopped. And now I am finally getting. So I do have the box. And the pickup, which I will talk more about that here in a second. Got all the tuners. I got everything ready to go. And now we are finally. So first things first, I want to introduce you to these pickups here. Um, these pickups were sent to me about a year ago by this company called Smoking Notes Cigar Box Guitars. And I will put their information in the video description below. So like I said, folks, we are finally getting around to it. This has been a long time coming. Uh, but I just wanted you to take a look at the awesome work that these people do here. This is a fully customized cigar box guitar pickup. And they even have stickers. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so let me read you from the fact sheet here. And again, there's two of them. And one is a neck position and one is a bridge position pickup. Let me read you from this fact sheet right here. Um, and I do apologize because this the, the date on this says 6-10-2020. So we are almost at a, excuse me, a one-year delta. Told you, we are finally getting... All right, so notes, P90 type style, single coil pickup. When used with the other one in the same build, it would be great as a neck position pickup. However, if used by itself, it would be better in the neck position. So it says it's a single coil. It says the wire style that they use, the gauge that they use, the polarity, north. Total turns of 4,500 turns. Uh, the, the magnets are Alinko 5. Am I saying that right? Alinko. Olive wood, top and trim ring. Can be used with or without the trim ring. The lower plate thread holes have been hardened with CA and retapped. If used with the, uh, the other pickup here, in the same build, the middle position on the three-way should give you hum canceling. Okay. So I get that, that makes sense, right? If you put... If you put, if you use this with a switch that gets both, that they'll both be, um, it'll be acting like a humbucker. Let's assume you have it wired, um, not out of phase. So that's these pickups. Aren't those awesome? So I just got to keep, keep, keep them straight. Which one is the neck pickup and which one is the uh, bridge pickup? So this one here is the bridge pickup, and this one here is because they look identical. They look identical. I guess I could. Um, ohm them out here, and I'm just going to keep them keep them separate now because, um, yeah, this one here has got 5,500. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy these pickups, Dell. Don and I have learned a lot from your videos. Please accept these pickups as a thank you from Smoking Notes CBG. Sincerely, Mike Lawless and Don. I'm going to butcher your last name, bro. Don, D-R-O-Z. And I apologize. I don't know if that's a D. Drozd. D-R-O-Z-D is what it looks like. I could be wrong. All right, you guys. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, so long it's taken me so long to finally get around to it. But I'm finally getting around to it. And today is the day where we are going to jam these suckers into this 
Fender style cigar box guitar. And we're gonna have fun doing it. All right, I figured I'd stop what I'm doing and give you guys a little update here. So I opted for one pickup or one of these bad boy pickups. And the reason being is for two reasons. Number one, if I did both pickups, then the other pickup would be interfering with this logo here since the bridge needs to be right here. So if I did a, a bridge pickup, then it would sacrifice that logo. So that's one reason. And the other reason is if I only use one pickup on here, then I have another pickup for another cigar box guitar. So I get two cigar box guitars with these awesome pickups. All right, so that's that's really the main reason. I'm just trying to st stretch it out here. The other thing I wanted to point out is since this is a Fender style build, I figured what better way to do a sound hole than an F hole. So I got two F holes here and just notice how the green patina on the F hole matches the green-ish patina on the position markers. Hmm. Man, look how that pickup looks. Wow. All right, so I did want to give you guys a peekaboo into the inside here before I buttoned it all up. If you notice, the, uh, the trough there is cut so that the pickup sits nice and flat in there. These here have the adjustment screws on here so I can you can um, twist these things and raise and lower the pickup. You can actually see the springs on the screws on the inside. One right there and one right here. So that's kind of a nifty little feature there. So I can adjust the pickup height to match the strings. Um, let's see here, what else? There's my tape, you know what that's for. So this pickup here, the single coil P90 here in the neck goes to one side of the switch. The piezo goes to the other side of the switch. The output of the switch to the input of the potentiometer. The output of the potentiometer to the jack. And this blue wire here, that's an extra ground wire that I will use to connect to the hinge. That's what I'm gonna do next is um, cut the hinge. And then we will be at that stage where we need to button it up, string it up, tune it up, intonate it up, and then, yeah, you know what I mean. All right, we are still wearing the Fender hoodie and the Fender, Fender shirt, and we're still working on the Fender guitar. <clears throat> so the moment of truth, I have it strung up with a 44, 34, and 26. This is a 25 inch scale instrument and I am tuned E, B, E. <clears throat> a lot of things to point out here. Look at these cornered patina. Seriously? Aren't those just the bomb? So these things here are set in liver of sulfur for days on end and then set out in the rain for days on end. And they just got that awesome patina to them. It matches quite nicely, I think, with the F-hole covers. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of a problem up here on the tuners. Not that big of a deal, but I do have one of them that is wired backwards. This dude here. Um, that's all I had and I wanted them to all to match so I did have one of them that was a mismatch but in order for them to match I had to turn this one backwards so I'm gonna keep an eye out for another one of these right-handed and as soon as I do then I'll replace that guy so in the meantime this guy is backwards but it's okay still works still works and yeah look at that low and that just awesome Shh, seriously and I do have a nail Ow. Large solder burns on the top, and look at that a gloss on there. 
These are epoxied with uh, turquoise inlays to match the turquoise of the patina on the F-holes. Yeah, okay, so anyhow, uh, the embedded piezo and the P90 custom design pickup there. We're going to put these things through the paces here. So first off the bat, uh, the piezo. to show you a really cool trick and it has to do with uh, do you guys remember the Hendrix chord so the Hendrix chord is a very 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 interesting very 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 useful um, very versatile chord I mean you can jam this chord just about anywhere at any time and it is always gonna sound cool so basically what I do is I do a two finger bar on the bottom two strings and then with my middle finger I reach over and I grab um, whatever fret is above this one here. All right, so that is that is the down and dirty, what I call the Hendrix chord. And you can take this guy and you can move it all around anywhere you want, and it's gonna sound good, okay? And what I mean by sounding good is I'm gonna give you the context of the 12 bar blues in the key of E, which is what we're tuned to. So, <clears throat> traditionally, a person would just be like, Et cetera, right but now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to do little jabs of these Hendrix chords here and this is where I'm gonna do them um, you can you can do them anywhere um, that's that's kind of the whole point of it is you can like jab these chords anywhere and it's gonna sound good but I have kind of guidelines of where and when to do it so um, when you're in the root key like open right here you can do them right here at the third and second fret fourth and third fret, fifth and fourth fret, and sixth and fifth fret. So you have all of this space right here where you can just jam these Hendrix chords in. And that's not the only place, that's just down here. You can also put it up here at the 10, nine, nine, eight. Um, you could even go down to the eight, seven, you can even go up here to the 1110. I mean, seriously, there's, like I said, there is no place that you can't really do it here. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example here, and this is all on just the root chord.
now it's just kind of an example of how you can put these chords kind of anywhere in the context of Seriously, there's so much that a person can do when they finally get around to it. All right, so if you need a round to it, I have got plenty of them. Hello. Round to it, everybody. All right, guys, if you like these cigar box guitar videos, chances are you are a cigar box guitar enthusiast. All right, so you might as well make it official by subscribing. Don't forget, there is a link to my Patreon. And as always, I encourage everybody to stay tuned and not to forget, definitely do not forget that six strings are definitely three strings too many. All right, you guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.